When I was about eight years old, my brother, he was going into middle school and then there was a event going on in the park in Palma Nova and my mom went to the event and Fireball was there and they were asking parents to sign up their kids and my mom found out about it so she signed up my brother and when I started middle school I ended up going into Fireball also. I grew up in Palma Nova, I was born living there, my mother was born there, single mother no fathers involved. There's four siblings. I guess not having a father figure was a little difficult, but going to the fire, firewall, there was Pastor Annie, there was other people involved that basically took over that spot. So yeah, it was tough for my mom. She was a single mother. She tried her best. Um, firewall always was there, always like supported us. Firewall began in 2003 when a 13-year-old girl in a Davie Mobile home park, whose both of her parents were involved in drugs, really weren't in, in her life as much as they should, and she made bad friends, bad choices. And at 13 years of age, she overdosed on drugs and died. Uh, my wife and I had a, a daughter at that time that was 13 years of age, and it just hit us in a big way. And we said, we've got to come into this neighborhood. We've got to make a difference so that kids like Sherry, that was her name, are able to have a chance. And what's awesome about Annalise is that she grew up in that same mobile home park. But her story, instead of being a story of tragedy, is a story of success. It was just a good atmosphere. I got to go there, hang out, do my homework. Uh, before I started my senior year, me and another one of the volunteers, we bothered Pastor Andy. We were like, he was looking for more staff, and we we're like, just hire us, hire us, Pastor Andy. And then, he gave in and then he hired us, so we worked together and we helped the kids every day. At Firewall, we've always focused on teenagers, so all our centers were middle school and high school. Last year, the Broward Schools District Superintendent visited one of our centers and, and visited, was impressed with what we're doing and our approach and our systems, and he said, you really need to go into elementary and make a difference there. And this year, we began our first elementary school program. And when we were thinking about who was going to help lead that center, the first person that came to our mind was Annalise. Coming here was a little scary because the kids, they need a lot more help, one-on-one -on -one help, but now I'm more comfortable being here at the school. Annalise first came to Firewall at about 10 years of age. Um, she's very quiet, very reserved. Those years of mentoring and tutoring her not only obviously helped academically, but helped develop her as a person. When I graduated high school, I went to Broward College and there I got my associates and Last year is when I started the bachelor program there, which is a teacher education program, and I've been taking classes since then. So hopefully soon I will be graduating with my bachelor's and I'll be able to be a teacher. When I look back at when I first started Firewall, I was really shy. I, I didn't see myself coming from like being the shy person to becoming a mentor and then a lead mentor. They just helped me, uh, helped me a lot. They helped me grow, they helped me become a better person. At Firewall, our mission is to transform students into servant leaders. And we try um, to walk through life with students. And if there is a prototypical example of what a success story is, it would be Annalise. 